this dough has now been um, kneading for 15 minutes. It smells amazing. It actually starts to smell like bread, which is the weirdest thing. So now what we need to do is we need to give it a little hand um, knead just to pull it all together so that I can pop it into this bowl and put it away to rise, okay? So we have our shower cap, keep it nice and warm and to help it rise. Now if you see this, it's a really, really stretchy, sticky, wet dough, okay? So it's quite a, a chore to get it out of here, but I have to say that you can get this really, really well worth it. There's nothing nice in the hand dough. And I'm gonna make um, a bolognese sauce today and I'm gonna turn it into lasagna and we'll garlic bread with it. It's gonna get absolutely gorgeous. All the more gorgeous because you need it back in. So what we're gonna do is I've got a tiny bit of flour in here just to get the dough uh, loosened, but I'm gonna knead it with oil, okay? So I have oil here, so I'm just gonna pop a little tiny bit of the surface of the table. I'm gonna rub that in so that the dough doesn't stick, okay? So remember, this is a wet dough, and what we don't want to do is flour the surface and start putting an unnecessary amount of flour in there. Do you see how sticky it is? Okay. So what we're gonna do is, just get the last bit off there, put that to one side. So I floured the dough, sorry, oiled the dough, gonna oil my hands, and we're just gonna pull this dough together. So it doesn't stick to the table and it's not sticking to my hands, okay? So we've got a lovely, soft, stretchy, workable dough. Okay, so this is what the straw white bread flour gives you, along with the yeast that gives you great elasticity. Now this dough um, is going to give me four gorgeous spaghetti. Do you see how everything's soft and sort of smooth it is? Completely different dough to what you get when you're mixing um, for, for a stand-up, like a, a farmhouse loaf or a cottage loaf or something like that. So the main thing is don't let your hands get dry because you're going to start sticking, okay? So just we'll give it a quick run round and then once I'm happy with it we will pop it in the bowl okay so do you see how lovely that is lovely and smooth how well it's going to rise the amount of air that's trapped in there so what I'll do just gently I forgot to say so it's the very same as a pizza dough push down with the heel of the hand pull back with the fingers turn the dough with the other hand so down back down back and as you get better at it, and as you do more, you'll get faster and you'll get more proficient, okay? But don't worry about it, speed's not important. What's important is the fact that you're making baguettes. Okay? Just run. And as you can see, it's a really clean dog. It's not sticking to me in the slightest. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now what we're going to do is, just whilst I hold it here, we're going to oil the bowl, and again, that's going to stop the bread sticking, the dough sticking to the bowl as it rises, okay? So we've oiled the dough, we've oiled the bowl, I'm quite happy with that, and we're just going to pop that in there, can you see it? And we're going to pop this little cover on. Now, this dough needs to be left to rise for two hours, okay? So we want it to double in size. So roughly two hours. What to do is maybe after an hour and 40, an hour and 30, have a wee peek underneath it and see if it's risen enough. If it hasn't, pop the cover back on and leave it. But I would probably just give it the two hours, it's not going to do it any harm. And then after two hours, we're going to knock it back and we're going to shape it into the gates. So we'll come back and we'll do that again later on. All right, guys?